It shut down the airport, crumbled walls, and damaged countless homes and possessions. But geologists call today's earthquake in Utah moderate. Fox 13's Max Roth looks at the difference between what the experts call big and what the rest of us consider big. A large quake on the Wasatch Fault means a 6.5 magnitude, geologists say. The last one that big was 200 years ago. So those of us younger than 200 can be forgiven for calling this one big. It was just an utter feeling of, of what's going on. Dakota Matherly woke up like most of us, and he found some damage to his apartment in Taylorsville. We've got this crack that runs all the way along kind of this central air duct system, and then we've got some more cracks kind of on the foundation of where um, the walls meet our stairs. He was scared. His dog was scared. His fiance from Peru has been through bigger and told him to take shelter. His response? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just going to hold on to the dog. Geologists are more like the fiance. They call 5.7 moderate. The last larger quake near the Wasatch Front was Wells, Nevada in February of 2008. It caused serious destruction on their historic Main Street. The Wasatch Fault runs 240 miles from north of Malad, Idaho to south of Nephi. Earthquakes happen along segments. The last large quake on the Salt Lake segment was 1,300 years ago. The Weber and Provo segments had a large quake 600 years ago. The Nephi segment had the most recent large quake 200 years ago. Quakes can't be forecast, but there's a one in five chance, geologists say, of a large earthquake on the Wasatch Fault in the next 50 years. But it's been more than a generation since the Wasatch Front felt something this big, making this significant to those of us who are not geologists or from Peru. Does your fiance think we're all wimps? I don't know. Do you think we're all wimps? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> the Wasatch Fault has a major quake on average every 300 years, but any individual segment gets them every 900 to 1500 years. So a big one will come, but it could be in a year or in 200 years. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.